Hello YouTube folks. This uh, video is for the iPhone and iPad iOS users out there. Just today, Apple released iOS 11.4, an update to the operating system for the iPhones and the iPads. And there's a bunch of other stuff that's happening, but the main thing for this video is I wanna show you how to enable messages in iCloud. After I show you how to do it, I'm going to tell you why you did it. So if you want to wait for the why and then come back to rewind and watch the how, you can do that. But I think you'll be satisfied with turning it on regardless and uh, make use of messages in iCloud just fine. So you want to find the settings app. I usually don't keep it on a screen all by itself, but just for the purposes of this video, I did. Tap on settings and then find your name at the very top. Your name likely won't be Chris Enns, but if it is, hi, Chris. Good name. And uh, then... We're gonna wait for this to load and we're gonna go into iCloud in the middle and scroll down a little bit and you'll see messages is turned off by default after you've updated to iOS 11.4. So we're just gonna tap and turn that on. Now, when you go to messages, you'll see that all of your messages will start syncing. And of course, I can't really show you any of my messages because they're all private conversations that aren't really uh, something I want on a YouTube video, but the messages should start syncing. Attachments will sync to iCloud and as you set up a new device or as you move to a new device whether it's a Mac or an iPad or another iPhone or iPod touch all your messages should stay in sync much better than before you can see down at the bottom that it's currently uploading my messages to iCloud so that with a status indicator so it looks like it's going to take a little while but that should be done hopefully in an hour or so I personally didn't have a lot of trouble with syncing before iOS 11.4 but your mileage may vary the three main benefits you get by turning on messages in iCloud is that it'll keep your messages synced, like I said, across devices much more consistently. The history will be there. Um, you'll have the entire archive of all your messages. If you don't ever delete any messages, they should stay completely in sync across all your devices in iCloud. The second benefit is that your attachments, photos, videos, things people send to you uh, through messages are kept in iCloud. So they're not using up space on your devices like your iPod touch maybe with 16 gigs of storage um, or an iPad or something like that. And so basically that way it'll stream it, download it as you need to watch it, but won't be kept on your device perpetually. The third benefit is that your messages are encrypted from device to device, so from end to end encryption, which is handy if you're doing any sort of illegal activity or you just don't want the government or anybody else spying on your messages along the way. So as long as it goes from one iOS device to another iOS device, uh, it will be encrypted all the way there. Thanks for watching the video. Just a quick one today on messages in iOS. And I'll be back again with a future video. If you have a comments and questions about stuff that you'd like me to cover, please leave that in the comments field down below. As always, of course, you can subscribe to the videos. And you can also, in the description below, you can see if you want to hire me for a podcasting consulting. I do some podcasting, editing, and production work for clients. And if you'd like some help and advice on your podcast, feel free to let me know. Thanks for listening and thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.